right my dear so today we are going to discuss about uh, types of refrigerant well maybe you know what is refrigerant well this is a substance which uh, work in a cycle which work in a cyclic process that's why we can get desired temperature by using a certain system so suppose that we are using a vcrs cycle vapor compression refrigeration system and there we use any kind of refrigerant okay so if we we will use refrigerant then we'll get desired effect desired effect means getting lower temperature than surrounding this is exactly called uh, refrigeration all right so here we are going to discuss about two types of refrigerant one is primary refrigerant and another one is secondary refrigerant so what is all about primary refrigerant that is important what is all about primary refrigerant so basically primary refrigerant is a refrigerant which also work in work in a cyclic process cyclic process for getting lower temperature for getting lower temperature okay now what is happening here there is one another thing is happening in case of primary refrigerant maybe you wanted to uh, know what's that basically what is that that is uh, latent heat of transformation that means phase change change of phase is taking place in case of primary refrigerant so there are two important things it is also useful for uh, getting lower temperature as well as phase changing is taking place in case of primary refrigerant but if we are seeing or look at the secondary refrigerant then it do not uh, do not uh, participate to change uh, the phase of the refrigerant it is using it is using as supporting refrigerant how let me share with you you know what is happening in case of secondary refrigerant secondary refrigerant is useful for getting more lower temperature after getting lower temperature by using primary refrigerant all right so if we will see the example of primary refrigerant and secondary refrigerant then probably you will understand what i mean to say the secondary refrigerant most common example is brine okay and we can say also water as refrigerant but the biggest disadvantage of water is we cannot use this refrigerant when desired temperature is less than 0 degree centigrade because below 0 degree centigrade this will become solid this will be in solid state okay so that's why we cannot use this type of refrigerant when our requirement is uh, about 0 degree centigrade or even below 0 degree centigrade okay now let's come to the uh, let's come to see the uh, uh, examples of uh, second i mean primary refrigerant examples are r11 r12 and uh, r even 134 which is uh, a eco, eco friendly refrigerant uh, we will discuss later about uh, all these types of refrigerant I mean, types of uh, designation of refrigerant there we can understand about what is eco friendly refrigerant what is eco friendly refrigerant uh, and why it is known as eco friendly refrigerant all right so i hope you understand the concept of two uh, types of refrigerant and its useful application as well as important points all right so i hope you got something from this video all right thanks for watching and see you soon in my next video bye bye